Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering aggregate functions topic in DBMS. And also, I will explain what is distinct keyword. And also, I will explain what is group by class. Guys, I have uploaded a complete DBMS subject tutorials. I will provide a link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Aggregate function is used to perform the calculations on multiple rows of a single column of the table and it returns a single value as output. Guys, I will give an example so that you can clearly understand this definition. Total there are 5 aggregate functions. They are count, sum, average, max and min. At first I will explain what is count function. Count function is used to count number of rows in a database table. Just in order to count number of rows, we need to use count function. I will give an example. For example, this is student table data. Now I want to count number of rows present in this table. So I written here select count. Guess we will represent function in brackets. So inside brackets I written star. Star is nothing but star means complete columns. It will select data which is present in all these columns. So I written here star from table name. From student table I want to select data. So I written here from student. And at last give semicolon. Guess whenever you write this code and click enter, it will count number of rows present in all columns. So total there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total there are 6 rows. So whenever I write this code and click enter, it will display output that is 6. Now I don't want to select complete columns. I want to select only rule number column and I want to count number of rows present in rule number column. So I written here select count inside bracket I written only rule number column because I want to count number of rows present in only rule number column so I written here rule number from table name table name is student so I written here from student and give semicolon whenever you write this code and click enter it will count number of rows present in rule number column so in rule number column 1 2 3 4 5 6 total there are 6 rows so I'll get output that is 6 for example in place of writing 1 if I write here null null is nothing but empty so it will not consider null and total there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So total there are only 5 rows. So it will display output that is 5. 5 is my output. Next one is sum function. Sum function is used to calculate sum of all columns. And we can apply sum function only to numbers. Only there are 2 numeric columns in this table. They are rule number column and marks column. So I can apply sum function only to these columns. For example, I will apply sum function to marks column. So just in place of writing count, I written here sum and I applied sum function to marks column. So I written here select sum of marks from table name that is student. Whenever I write this code and click enter, it will perform addition on all these rows in this marks column. So 75 plus 80 plus 90 plus 60 plus 50 plus 100 that is 455. So whenever I write this code and click enter, it will display output that is 455. Guys, aggregate functions will display only single value as output. In this table, we applied aggregate functions to all these rows in this marks column. So, aggregate function is used to perform calculations on multiple rows of a single column of the table. And it will display only single value as output. So, this is my output that is 455. Next, I'll explain what is use of max function. Where max function is used to identify maximum number in particular column and whereas min function is used to identify minimum number in particular column. For example, I want to identify maximum value and minimum value in this particular column. For that purpose, we need to use max function and min function. So I written here select max of marks column from student table. Whenever I write this code and click enter, it will find maximum number in marks column. Here maximum value is 100. So I'll get output that is 100. Whenever I write this code and click enter, it will display output that is 100. Just in place of writing max function, I written here min function in order to identify minimum value. In this table, minimum value is 50. So it will display output that is 50. So whenever I write here select a min of marks from student, it will display output that is 50. And last function is average function that is AVG. So I written here select AVG of marks column from student table. How to calculate average? 75 plus 80 plus 90 plus 60 plus 50 plus 100 by Total there are 6 rows, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So by 6. So 75 is my output. These are various aggregate functions. Guys, next I will explain what is use of distinct keyword. 
just in order to avoid duplicate values from particular column or table, you need to use distinctive keyword. I'll give an example. For example, I want to see data which is present in section column. So I need to write select column name. That is, I want to see data which is present in section column. So I'm writing column name that is section from table name. Table name is student. So I'll write here student. Whenever I write this code and click enter, it will display complete data which is present in section column. So I'll get output that is section ABC ABC. Here A is repeated twice, B is repeated twice and C is repeated twice. I don't want duplicate values. I want to remove duplicate values. So for that purpose, we need to use distinct keyword. So just you need to write here select a distinct column name that is section from table name from student. I return here distinct. So it will avoid duplicate values. So I'll get output that is section A, B, C. This is my output. It will avoid duplicate values from the section column. For example, in place of Raju, again I took Sai. Sai is repeated twice. Whenever I write here select a distinct, that is name column from student table, it will display output that is Sai, Shiva, Ramesh, Suresh, and Harish. Here Sai repeated twice, but it will display Sai only once. Next, I'll explain what is use of group by class. Group by class groups rows with same values from the selected column. For example, in the student table, I am selecting section column. In this section column A repeated twice, B repeated twice and C repeated twice. Whenever I apply group by to this particular column, it will group same values and then it will display that values only once. For example, if I apply group by to this section column, it will display output that is A, B, C. It will display only once. So just you need to write code that is select. I want to select section column, so write section from table name that is student. And just you need to write here group by group space by section. Normally, if you write here select a section from student, it will display output that is section ABC ABC. But just I written here group space by section. That means it will group same data. A repeated twice. So it will form A as one group and similarly two Bs. So B is one group and there are two Cs. So C is one group. Total there are three groups. They are ABC. So this is my output. Here in the section column A is repeated twice and B is repeated twice and C is repeated twice. Now what I want to do is, I want to see sections and as well as number of times the sections are repeated. I should get output like this. So I need to write here select. I want to select section column. So write here section. And I want to count number of times sections are repeated. So write here count. I'm using here count function. So write here count of section from table name. That is student table group space by section. Whenever I write this code and click enter, it will display output that is section column and as well as count of section column by grouping the section column. So whenever I write this code and click enter, this is my output. 